<laughs> okay, uh, Jeff, now we're going to hear from somebody who took you by the hand and led you when you first came to your ministry. It's got to be directed to you and gave you spiritual guidance. Oh, it's got to be a. It's got to be a. <laughs> Want to go out to lunch? <laughs> Jeff always knew he was in trouble when we went out to lunch if I picked up the tab. Did you buy Jeff, Jeff's the only minister we've had here. We've hired twice. Um, Why'd you bring the file for? It's a report of you and your kids. So, uh, um, when Jeff and Patty went to Brazil, we had a special night for them that year uh, before they left. And the title that evening were the Green Brazil Nuts. And um, we talked about some of the classics. And most of the classics are known about the time he put his hand in the ceiling fan because it was going too fast. I'll slow it down. Or the time that he was in a hurry, so he ironed the shirt on his arm. <laughs> The time you backed, used the church van and backed over one of your kids. So, th these were prime examples of Jeff Green. Uh, I was going to use the example of the time he was house sitting and caught the car on fire. But I'm sorry, Hal. That's okay. I got more. <laughs> uh, I happened to be over at that church doing a bond program, and everyone said, you go to Jeff Green's church, don't you? And uh, they still talk about that over there at Palm Bay. But those are things that everyone knows about. So I thought that uh, I would tell you some stories that very few were privileged to witness. 1983, uh, Jeff and Patty and Jane and myself chaperoned a youth mission trip over to England. And I, I kind of was thinking of some of these today with the whole world looking at London today because we had some experiences over there that only Jeff can do. Now, everyone said, how many went to England? And we always, most people said four adults and seven kids, but I always said three adults and eight kids. <laughs> and um, our jobs were always Jane's and Patty's and mine. And we, we cannot tell you, we, we truly did have seven kids, two boys, five girls, and I can't tell you in that 11 or 12 day period, how many times we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, where's the kid? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. Because we counted those kids forever, and, uh, you know, teenagers. But some of the things that happened show just some of the characteristics that Jeff has. We were standing in front of this statue, and I can't remember, I think it was in Wigan Park, which was the town we visited. <coughs> And we were, everybody was taking pictures, and when you have a whole bunch of kids, you have to rotate the photographer, because everybody wants the same picture. And kids wait till the adults take a picture, and then they all have to get their cameras out and take that same picture. And uh, Jeff was standing up here next to the statue, and he was showing off. And uh, the old trick where you put a quarter on your elbow, and you try to catch it with your hand, you know, before it hits the ground. Well, he proceeded to show his ability and knocked his glasses off and broke them. Now we're in a foreign country, Jeff can't see anything. He's supposed to preach on Sunday. You know, he's got broken glasses, so we had to go and get his glasses fixed and all of that over in England. And then, during our time over there, we, the, the uh, church we were visiting in Flat Ridge was real high on socials, and socials were a lot of fun. And we were kind of the well, traveling uh, circus, the Americans were, because Americans never went to Platte Bridge. And uh, so everybody would come out to see us. So we had a social one night, and every time they had a social, they had to have some kind of competition. And those who know Jeff know how competitive he is. <laughs> and the competition got into seeing which group, the Brits or the Americans, had the best dance team. And so, one of the couples over there were really good dancers. And they got out to go first as proper guests. And the big move was that the 
the gentleman would twirl around his day, fling her through his legs, and pull her back up. <laughs> well, Jeff's not to be outdone. <laughs> Poor Patty. <laughs> we, were, we were in their fellowship hall, which was a slick floor like this, but wasn't this big. And Jeff's doing all his thing. He was, up, he was upholding the USA. <laughs> when he went, to sling her through his legs, he just kept looking. He just went across the floor. And he had to go retrieve her at the other end of the fellowship. So, needless to say, we didn't win that competition. That's his competitiveness. And then his third characteristic was he is fearless. We were in the subway system of London. And we were getting ready to get on a subway. Now we had gone through with these kids, proper etiquette, you know, be careful in London, watch for pickpockets, do this, watch your purses, do this. And as we were standing there getting ready to go into the, into the subway car was just coming, there was a big dude and he was big. And every time Jeff told the story, he got bigger. But, he was standing there, and Laurel Johnson, uh, our financial secretary, was one of the kids with us, and he was getting ready to put his hand into her purse. And Jeff, fearless as he is, just walked up to him and went, excuse me. And of course, that scared the guy, and he left. The car came, doors opened, we got inside, the doors closed, and Jeff fell apart. <laughs> what if he'd had a gun? What if this had happened? handled it. But he's fearless. So parents, don't worry about your kids when Jeff's around. <laughs> now another friend of uh, Jeff's who has known him through both ministries, the ministry he had before in Brazil and the ministry that he has now. So Carol, will you come out and share with us here? Uh, she brings a book. <laughs> I'm going to talk about some. It's really kind of ironic that certain uh, natural disasters occurred about the same time of certain events in Jeff's life. Um, you know, when he was born, um, uh, Africa was decolonized. decolonized. Baby Doc. Duvalier was elected president of Haiti. Stalin died, and of course there was the Cuban Missile Crisis. <laughs> when uh, Jeff came to the ministry here in Tarpon Springs, AIDS was identified, <laughs> and the Santanistas uh, took over control in Nicaragua. And when Jeff left for uh, Brazil, the hole in the ozone layer was discovered. <laughs> um, I, I want to tell you, when Jeff and Patty, I have a picture when Jeff and Patty were ordained. Um, anybody can come and take a look at this picture. I just want you to note that neither the minister, minister nor the elders are here anymore. <laughs> as, as, as elders. Uh, I, I don't know if all these things have anything to do with Jeff, but um, I just thought it was quite ironic. Um, anyway, um, I have an article when the Greens begin preparation for life as missionaries to Brazil. This was the uh, Tarpon Herald on Thursday, November 1st, 1984. I know, it, this paper is just no, really the, falling look apart. Back. Look, read the back. Read Muppet. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I thought it was interesting that this paper talked about this, this uh, point in time, it's so old, you can see it's yellow. Uh, midget scor Scorch Devils, where uh, Kurt Heath was playing uh, defense in the, um, what do you call that, football? Pee Wee football. <laughs> um, the uh, reelect Coleman Sheriff, as uh, Sheriff. Uh, Mike Villarakis re-elect him, and uh, State Senator-elect Kurt Kaiser uh, elect him. Um, one of the things I thought was real ironic, talking about natural disasters, there was uh, a big ad for Landmark Bank, Union Trust. They're not around anymore. <laughs> There's something else here. There's
there's, there's really a neat article because the, the newest in equipment came out and it's a copier. It's got one of those neat little flapping things that come down so that when you put the paper and the, and the thing moves that way and that way will make a copy. And so I, I just think, you know, I don't know that they have those around anymore. It just, it's ironic that this happened at the same time. But, um, you know, it seemed like Jeff and Patty, between Patty and I, somebody was always pregnant for a period of time. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Jeff and I had to do this, but we had to go to the airport. I had to either pick Jeff up or take him or Patty, but Patty wasn't there. So there's Kit, and a year later there's Joel, and two years later there's Baba, and I was pregnant with Kaylin. And here's Jeff and I going to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> well, this lady is looking at us. <clears throat> And she looks at Jeff, and she looks at me, and my, I'm out to here, you know. And um, she looks at Jeff, and she says, she, it's like, don't you ever quit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I thought Jeff's going to stand up, and he's going to defend my honor. <laughs> Instead, he looks at me, and he says, come on, dear. <laughs> Anyway, uh, th this is another true story. You know, Jeff has a way of having, you know, he's got great ideas, but somehow they don't always turn out the way he had planned. And um, <laughs> um, anyway, the, Patty and Jeff had been at our house, and the kids had been playing in the, in the um, sandbox. And they were digging and doing stuff, and then they left. And some somewhere along the road, Jeff saw this big old turtle. Well, he thinks, oh, this is really, really neat. Now, some of you have heard this story, but anyway, he's going, this is a really neat turtle. Kit would really love to see this turtle. So he decides, well, I'm going to get this turtle. So he hands it to Patty, who's in the front seat, and Bubba and, and Joel are in the back seat. I don't know, I don't think Becca was there at the time, nor KK, but anyway. Um, so they, they proceed to turn around and come back to our house. Well, the turtle wasn't too excited about all this. And I think fact, I was pregnant then, too. You were pregnant then, too? <laughs> <laughs> the turtle was not real happy about being held captive in an automobile with two screaming babies in the back seat because they were really upset about this turtle and scared. And so the turtle proceeds to poop all over Patty's leg. <laughs> So the door, you know, the doorbell rings, I open the door and there's Patty with this stuff all over her and Jeff said, I thought Kent would really like to see this turtle. <laughs> well, Kent was totally unimpressed. <laughs> um, I, that's, well, that's Kent, that's true. Um, I've got other stories, but you know, um, a lot of them are on Patty too, but we're roasting Jeff tonight. And, um, <laughs> happy birthday. Hey, speaking of natural disasters.